to lead and, and, and to be myself. Um, and, and, and that's what, you know, I just want to say that. And, and I want to shout out to the South Sudan fans. And then there a little tip or something. So um, colleague has been great for us. He's our leader. He's our quarterback on and off the court. He's a great addition. The guys love him. I love him. He's a true leader. And that's what leaders do. They bring home, they bring home the fight. He, t he led us to victory today. Um, he put us on a, his back and we just rode the wave. And um, kudos to Winyan Gabriel. He had a double-double. Um, Nuni Amat showed up at uh, the fourth quarter and it was a collective effort from my guys. Um, you know, uh, hats off to the Philippines. They competed every play. They cut the, the lead to six. We were up 18. They never stopped fighting. But um, we didn't want the same outcome as the Puerto Rico game. So we put on our hard hats and we came to compete in the fourth quarter and we came out with the victory. Intent. We want more. Thank you, Coach. What message do you have to our fans back home? To the fans in South Sudan, we love you. We do everything for you. This is for you. We leave our heart, our soul, our sweat on the court because we know through basketball we unite the family of South Sudan, the people of South Sudan. When we play basketball, everything ceases. Violence stops. Every, their eyes are on us. They're watching us. So we continue to push it forward. We continue to win. We continue to compete at a high level. And I love being a coach of this this group, man. It's, there's nothing more rewarding to be up here with these guys because I know how, how hard they work and how much they want it. Performance, especially, especially since you were just one stat away from being a triple-double player here in this World Cup. Oh, 